Welcome back to the channel that breaks down the most powerful ideas shaping the future of AI, data, and automation. We're diving deep into MindsDB, an open source platform that's quietly transforming how enterprises harness AI with nothing more than SQL, natural language, and smart architecture. Now, this isn't just some auto ML wrapper. This system connects petabyte scale data sources to models like GPT and Hugging Face, runs real time predictions, and automates workflows with surgical precision. If you're a data scientist, DevOps engineer, or technical founder trying to ship real AI that scales, this episode is for you. Smash that subscribe button, ring that bell, and let's break it down. Let's start with the big picture. MindsDB calls itself the AI query engine, and for good reason. Its architecture is built around federated query processing, where you can run SQL or natural language queries over 200 plus sources like MySQL, Pinecone, Slack, or even Gmail. It doesn't centralize your data. It orchestrates intelligence where the data already lives. Here's the core structure. Data integration layer. Think JDBC, ODBC, and REST connectors talking to your operational databases, PostgreSQL, MySQL, unstructured data stores, e.g. Pinecone, and SaaS apps like Slack. No need to ETL into a warehouse. You query where it is. AI or ML engine. This is the heart. MindsDB supports AutoML for predictive modeling and LLMs for natural language tasks. You can fine-tune models using simple SQL commands like fine-tune, which hooks into OpenAI or Hugging Face behind the scenes. Query module, this is where things get spicy. MindsDB extends SQL with AI-specific syntax, like create agent, create knowledge underscore base, or select asterisk from rag underscore model, where question equals. This lets developers run RAG workflows, build AI agents, or do semantic search using nothing but SQL or REST APIs. Automation layer, event-driven and time-driven workflows are supported. You can create triggers for real-time response or jobs for scheduled inference, making it ideal for continuous data pipelines. Observability framework, model output and query performance are tracked with integrations like OpenTelemetry, which is huge for debugging and compliance, especially in regulated industries. Bottom line, MindsDB isn't just model serving. It's a real-time AI orchestration engine that plugs straight into your existing data ecosystem. Let's talk real use cases, how teams are actually using MindsDB in production. Use case one, AI workflow automation, data enrichment. Imagine enriching a customer table in MySQL with sentiment analysis from OpenAI on the fly. MindsDB lets you write. You automate the entire enrichment loop. This is ideal for labeling, classification, or fraud detection pipelines, and according to MindsDB's internal metrics, it can cut manual processing time by 80%. But heads up, performance is bound by your slowest source. If your PostgreSQL is laggy, real-time responsiveness will take a hit, so optimize those connectors. Use case 2, deploying AI agents. You can deploy multi-skill AI agents with a single command. This is perfect for building AI copilots, help desk bots, or internal support tools. You can even plug in external knowledge sources. These agents can now pull live context from documents, vector embeddings, or transactional data. Just expose them via REST or WebSocket and boom, real-time AI assistant. The downside? Complex agents can suffer context overload. You'll need skill prioritization or request routing logic as your knowledge base grows. Use case 3, semantic search with vector stores. Want to answer product questions like, what's the best vitamin for immunity? Using real context? This is retrieval augmented generation RAG using Pinecone or Fran to fetch context, then feeding that to an LLM. With vector embeddings, you get way better precision than just keyword search. MindsDB's users report 85% plus accuracy in production support bots and product recommender systems. One catch, vector store scale is not free. You'll need sharding and index tuning for datasets 1M records. Use case 4, real-time forecasting. Running time series models on trading data? MindsDB automates feature engineering and lets you schedule training and predictions with Create Job. This makes it awesome for price prediction, server load forecasting, or lead scoring. AutoML does the heavy lifting, but be careful with long horizon forecasts. Those need clean data and signal rich features, or you'll get model drift fast. MindsDB is not just a hobby project, 
it's backed by a 28K, star GitHub repo, active Slack channels, and adoption by 60% of enterprise AI teams by Q2 2025, according to posts on X and dev.to. Industries seeing real impact. Customer support. Create bots that answer 90% of tickets, then escalate via Slack using human-in-the-loop triggers. Finance. Use predictive models to forecast spending or detect anomalies. Bonus. CBOM-style audit logs give cryptographic traceability. E-commerce. Semantic search replaces rule-based filters with smarter product discovery. MLBOM tracking ensures responsible deployment. Challenges? Yes. SQL extensions like Create Agent require ramp-up time. And real-time AI doesn't come cheap. You'll need compute and robust monitoring. MindsDB solves four core problems for AI teams. Accessibility, SQL, and natural language queries let any dev build AI workflows. Automation, triggers and jobs handle the plumbing so you can focus on logic. Scalability, federated architecture works across petabyte scale sources. Flexibility, plug in OpenAI, Hugging Face, Pinecone, or your own models. This isn't some fuzzy platform promising AI magic. It's clear, grounded, modular tech that you can plug into your stack right now. That's MindsDB your AI operating layer for real-time data, predictions, and automation. Whether you're building the next Slack bot or forecasting Bitcoin, this tool makes it real, scalable, and fast. If this kind of breakdown helps you, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell, and join the Bazai crew. I want to know, which MindsDB use case are you going to try first? Drop a comment below, I reply to everyone. See you in the next one. Let's build the future together.